sealing night. Scarf up the tender eye of pitiful day, and with thy bloody and invisible hand, cancel and tear to pieces that great bond which keeps me pale. Light thickens and the crow makes wing to the rookie wood. Good things of day begin to droop and drowse, while night's black agents to their praise do rouse. Why liest thou with the vile in loathsome beds, and leavest the kingly couch, a watch case, or a common Lara bell? Will thou upon the high and giddy mass seal up the ship boy's eyes and rock his brains in the cradle of rude, imperious surge, in the visitation of the winds who take the ruffling billows by the top, curling their monstrous heads and hanging them with deafening clamour in the slippery clouds that waft with the hurly death itself awakes? Canst thou? O oh, partial sleep, give thy repose for the wet sea sand in the hour so rude, and in the calmest and most stillest night, with all appliances and means to boot, deny it to a king. Then happy low lie down, and easy lies the head that wears a crown. 